Excuse me, excuse me, what Mr. Scrooge. What is it? What's all it? I mean, it's Christmas. It's it's time of goodwill and enjoyment. These people are not here to enjoy themselves. They're here to gloat. Gloat? Yes, gloat when they get the answers wrong over there and gloat when they miss the prizes. They're here because we're giving nothing away. But, but just, They're just, here just, to just, gloat. What? Just, never what? mind about all that. In fact, Mr. Scrooge, I don't know why you're doing this show what instead of that nice Mr. Bowen. I think he does it incredibly well. Listen, that's why I'm here because Mr. Bowen does it too well. He's giving too much away. <laughs> well, I think that's incredibly mean, Mr. Scrooge, especially at Christmas. I mean, what about making people laugh? I mean, you're not going to make people people laugh, are you, Mr. Scrooge? Well, well, Mr. Bowen never makes people laugh, does he? <laughs> well, 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 Christmas, I mean, it's a time for remembering. I bet that nice Mr. Bowen, I bet he always remembers. Mr. Bowen remembers? What about his lines? <laughs> well, I grant you that, well, but then everything sit else... sit down, I mean... sit down, it's all humbug. I'll tell you, what I want to do now is see my clerk, Bob Cratchit, and see who he's got to play with us on this specially mean edition of Christmas Bullseye. <laughs> Yes. Sorry I'm late, sorry I'm late. It's yes. no good you coming in there late. Now we're trying to make a good impression. Oh, it's impressions, is it? I'll give yes. us your impressions. Bill yes. Brucey, nice to see you, to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. There's Brucey here, the only man in show business to have three shredded wit. I'll wear them on my head. Guys, <laughs> guys. My late... This one's Gaza, Paul Gascoigne. <laughs> Now, tell me who, who you brought tonight to play with us on this special edition of Bullseye, Mr. Cratchit. Well, there's me. Yeah. You're playing, are you? Yeah. Well, you'll get nothing. I'll make sure you win nothing. I pay you enough as it is. One and sixpence a week is enough for anyone. If Mr. Major finds out I'm paying you so much, I'll be drummed out of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Who else have you got then, Cratchit? Well, there's Mrs. Cratchit. Is she yes, playing? she's here, she's here. Yes, yes I could be wrong. This is Mrs. Cratchit. Come on down, yes, indeed. <laughs> Stop it, you're squashing my bendy bully. Oh. Now. <laughs> Mr. Scrooge, thank you so much for having me on your show. I hope we win that Christmas hamper. We don't get nearly enough to eat in our house. You could have fooled me. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, replace that Christmas hamper with a year's subscription to Weight Watchers, will you? Right, off you go. Off you go there. Right. Tell me now, Patrick, who, uh, who else have you got to play this game tonight? Well, uh, being it's a quiz game, uh, what about the brightest member of the family? That would be good. Tiny Tim? Tiny yes, Tim? Yes, yes, he's here. I can get him. Tiny, tiny Tim? Yes. Tiny? Tiny? Tiny! Tiny! tiny. <laughs> you banged me, Lord. Uh, is this... Oh, Mr. Scrooge, uh, Merry Christmas. Yes, enough of that humbug. I don't want any of that now. Tell me, this is the brightest member of the family, is it? Definitely brightest, yes. Yes. Knows all the answers. What? Yes. You're bright. You're bright, oh, Tiny. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, bright. He knows <laughs> everything, him. He knows Hello. everything. <laughs> everything. Very bright. Yes. Well, how old are you, boy? Uh, 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 smashing super. Uh, what? Yes, uh, that's very nice. Uh, smashing super. Oh. Oh, yes. Have you brought any dark players? Have you got any dark players? Got them all, sir. Yes, sir, they're here all, oh, sir. Yes, indeed, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're behind me, sir. They're there. there. Hey. Yes, they're coming <laughs> out, sir. <laughs> What's 
Good gracious me, good gracious me. Who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are I am you? the ghost of Christmas past, man. <laughs> Christmas past, man? Scotty. <laughs> and who are you, then? I'm the ghost of Christmas present. And who are you? And I'm the ghost of Christmas to come. Well, you don't frighten me. I've done a week in Cannock. <laughs> Listen, I tell you what. Reveal everything. Let me see you. Let me have a look at you. Oh, look at that! Ah! If you go, touch it to your seat, you see? Scorer for this special game of bullseye. I refuse that Tony Green, far too great a commander of the English language, and rather whimsical, I thought. I needed someone who was mean, someone who was used to figures, someone with whom I had something in common. Yes, someone miserly. I think I hear him coming now. Yes, he's on his way here now. I live and breathe Jacob Marley, my former partner. Wonderful to see you again. Dead these seven years. You were mean. You were as tight as a duck's. Are you capable of doing this show tonight? Well, I might be a little green. Oh, stop it. But I'm sure I'll get into the spirit of it. Enough. Spirit, go! Yes, get off. Go over there for the dartboard. <laughs> I think we've got our three brains over there who are going to answer very few questions from the look of things, and the dart players rather suspect. I think we're going to have a rather miserly game of Christmas bullseye. <laughs> right, here we go then. Let's play the game. Play the game. Bob, Bob Cratchit, choose yes, a subject for Ghost Bob. Yes, sir, Mr. Scrooge. Um, I'll have history, please, Mr. Scrooge. History. History, right. Mr. Scrooge. History. Right. Mr. Scrooge? Yes? History. Yes, he knows. <laughs> History, Ghost Bob. That's a bullseye! <laughs> on History, right. Here we are. Here's your question for £50 on History, young Cratchit. Who was crowned King of England on Christmas Day in 1066? Uh. That's William the Conquer. Conqueror. Yes, that's better. <laughs> All right, you can have a 50 pounds curses. Right, tiny Tim. Choose a subject for ghost late in your partner. Sport. <laughs> that's a bullseye! You on the ground. Well played. The famous open air Christmas Day swim was inaugurated in London in 1864. In, in, in which London lake does it take place? Serpentine. His ride for 50 pounds, we'll give you that. Right, Mrs. Cratchit, choose a subject to dart player and ghost Eric. Can I? Faces, Mr. Scrooge. We'll do our please. best for you, my love, yes. Faces, please. That's a bullseye! All of you look at your monitors. But it's Mrs. Scratchit first. Whose face is that, Mrs. Scratchit, for 50 pounds? <laughs> Father Christmas! He's right for 50 pounds. Well played. Wonderful. Yes, that's very good. Right, we move on now to game two here. We move on to game two. Look at the category board there. The subjects are lit. They're the ones you can hit. Here we go, Bob Cratchit. Choose a subject for Ghost Bob. I'll have show business, please, Mr. Scrooge. Show business? Show business. Yes. That's a bullseye! <laughs> right, Cratchit. Listen carefully to me. For £100 to add to an already high score, as paining me is this. Mm. Louis Winogradsky was born on Christmas Day in 1906 in Russia. He became a famous impresario. By what name do we now know him? Lord Grade. Mr. 
100 pounds, Patrick. Tiny Tim. Warrods. Pardon? Warrods. Words. 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 That's Sir Bullseye! Santa Claus is a contraction of the name of the patron saint of children and sailors. Who is he? Now we know that, Tim. Uh, saint Nicholas. Well, we'll more or less accept that for 100 pounds. Well played. Yes, right. Mrs. Patrick? I'll have places, please, You'd Mr. like Scrooge. places, Ghost Eric. Places, please, for Mrs. Cratchit. That's so cool, Two hundred pounds. So, Mrs. Cratchit, for a further one hundred pounds, listen to this question. And don't forget your bonus lights, you two gentlemen there. In the Christmas hymn, which town is referred to as Royal David City? Bethlehem. Bethlehem gives you one hundred pounds. Well played. Absolutely marvellous. We move on now to round three in game one. There are the categories left to hers, books, Britain and spelling. All right, £150 a question. Right. Uh, no, sm uh, super great, smashing, lovely, super. <laughs> smashing, super, lovely, great. Uh, love her. <laughs> affairs. Affairs. We'd like affairs, please, Ghost Bob. That's a bullseye! <laughs> Bob Cratchit. You are costing me a fortune tonight for another £150. Bob Cratchit, answer me this. Which country donates the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree? Ooh, <laughs> no, it's... Uh, ooh, uh, no. <laughs> no, nearly passed me friends around. It's... Uh, <laughs> no way. He's right, sir, for £150. <laughs> well done, well done. And we move on. Tiny Tim, Tiny Tim. Uh, books. Yes, you do well on those. <laughs> Books with light, please. That's a bullseye! Mm. £200. Who was the author and original radio broadcaster of the story A Child's Christmas in Wales? Dylan yeah. Thomas. Dylan Thomas. <laughs> He's absolutely right for £150. Well done, Tim. Mrs. Cratchit. I'll have Britain, please, Mr. Scrooge. We'd like Britain, please, Gus Eric. That's a bullseye! Mrs. Cratchit, I don't care whether you answer this or not. Listen carefully. I just say it once. The husband of Queen Victoria is said to have introduced the Christmas tree to England. Who was he? Prince Albert. Curse it. He's right for £150. <laughs> it's pounds for points, and it's over to Jacob Marley. Twenty. Twenty. And one. Forty-one, Ghost Bob. Right, Ghostly. Twenty. Five. And one, twenty-six. The score to beat, Ghost Eric, is forty-one. Okay. One. Twenty. And fifteen, which is thirty-six. So the first round to Ghost Bob Ebenezer. Right, here we go. Forty-one pounds, Bob Cratchit. If your birthday is on Christmas Day, under what sign of the zodiac were you born? That's got to you. Capricorn. Absolutely right there, Cratchit. Well done. Gives us now the scores: 941 pounds, playing 900 pounds, playing 900 pounds. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob Marley, for round two. Here you are, Ghost Bomb. Twenty. Twenty. And treble 20, 100. Well done, 
Okay, go, Slayton. Under to me. Unlucky. 20. And 20, 40. Very unlucky. Go, Sterry. 100 to beat. 20. 5. And 20, 45. The second round to go, Bob, with 100, I believe, sir. It's said to be unlucky to leave the Christmas decorations up after the 12th night. What date is that, Cratchit? The 12th, that's the one after the 11th, isn't it? It's, it's yes. the... It's the 6th of January. Get you 100 pounds, absolutely right. <laughs> Back to Jacob for round three. Final round, go, Spot. Five. Five. And 20, which is 30, go, Slim. Treble one. Five. <laughs> and 20, 28. Do I have that little there? <laughs> Go, Sterry. Well, I'll get 31. 30 to be. <laughs> 20. 20. And treble 20, 100. Final round to go, Sterry. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me, listen to this tiny tin because it's musical, a partridge in a pear tree. What did she send on the sixth day? Sing the song if it helps. On the first day of Christmas, my true, true love sent to me. <laughs> Six geese are laying. Six geese are laying. It's right for 100 pounds. Well yes. played. Wonderful. Which means at the end of game two, we've got Cratchit and Ghost Bob with £1,041. We've got Tiny Tim and Ghost Layton with £900. And we've got Mrs Cratchit and Ghost Eric with £1,000. <laughs> Sadly, we've got to say cheerio to Tiny Tim and Ghost Layton and Mrs Cratchit and Ghost Eric. In you come. <laughs> Come in. Thank you very much indeed all for coming. Thank you, Tiny Tim and Ghost Layton, and thank you very much, Mrs. Cratchit and Ghost Egg. Well, all right, Mrs. Cratchit, tell me where your money's going then. Ours is going to go to the Association of the Elderly. It's going to help the, 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 old, the people old people in the country? The old people that need help. Fine, that's marvellous. And what about you, Tiny Tim? Where's your money going? Well, our money, my mate, my money, is going to uh, research for people suffering from diabetes. Oh, that, those are two very worthy courses. Well played. Well played. I... I tell you what it is, I'm really getting into the spirit of Christmas here. Do you know what I think we might do afterwards? We might have a sip of a sip of water after the show. <laughs> yes, there are your bullies and tankers and a goblet for you there, Mrs. Cratchit, and your money will be sent off straight at the end. Now, count this money out now. It'll take me about two minutes. Here we go. It's one for you, and it's one for you, and it's one for me. No, it's oh, not. All right, no, all right. They've caught me out. I'll see you in the second half. Christmas spirit getting the better of me. The young Cratchit here and Ghost Bob done very well. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. I've got Scrooge, to say it, one of the most horrible statements in show business. You've won a lot of money for yourselves. No, no, no not for ourselves. No, where's, no. Where's it going, the, Our money is going, sir, it's going to help the, uh, the, the cure for meningitis. It's going to work to get Meningitis, yes. I'm absolutely delighted. In fact, you know, I feel so good. I think you could perhaps do me a little favour if you would. Would you mind coming with me? You may be able to help me. Come with me over here. <laughs> now then, now then, look at this board, men. Here we are. It's Bully's prize board, as you see, which they use in the normal game throughout the year. But behind these red sectors and Bully there, some marvellous prizes, which we're sending to a school down in Portsmouth which, for children who suffer from Down syndrome. Yeah. All right. I'll give you more. Right, sir. First three darts for Ghost Bob. And then here we go now. And then three more for you, Cratchit, and three more for Bob. Here we go. There you go, Ghost Bob. That's the bullseye! I have to tell you, 
No snob. That's a marvellous piece of equipment, a climbing house. That's red, it's number eight. That's a marvellous slide and steps. That's red, it's Ooh, number Marvellous, one. that's the activity gymnasium. Oh, well done, Bob. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Marvellous. Now then. That's red, it's number well four. Well done, well done, Cratchit. That's the, uh, that's a rocking toy, a marvellous piece of equipment. <laughs> red again, oh, number brilliant. five. Brilliant. That's a rocking horse, that's absolutely tremendous. Unfortunately, that's black. But never mind. Oh, God. I'm filling up now. Come on. Done very well. Done very well. Come on, take your darts and catch it. That's a good, that's a good performance there, Cratchit. Two on three. Very, very good. And now we've got the lights on there for Ghost Bob. You know we have left to get there. The ones that are not lit, Ghost Bob. <laughs> got it out now, mate. <laughs> Red number six. That's fine. That's the sound and weight cylinders. That's a marvellous training piece of equipment. Red number seven. No problem, Ghost Bob. That's the lovely kiddies cottage. And red again, number no three. No problem. A superb play box. You have one. The activity gymnasium, the play box, the rocking toy, the rocking horse, the sound and weight cylinders, the kiddies cottage, the slide and steps, and Bully's special prize, a marvellous climbing house. Well done. Well done indeed. <laughs> now, I'd like a word with you now. Normally, that Mr. Bowen asks the finalists if they'd like to gamble 101 or more with the non-dart player throwing first for the star prize. So I'm asking you, do you accept Bully's challenge? Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Yes. yes. 101 or more. That's it for your first. There we are, sir, and the best of luck. Listen to Jacob Marley. OK, Cratchit. Plenty of time. Nice and easy. Yes, well spoken there, Cratchit. 20. Yes, no problem. 12. <laughs> and 7. So that's 39, Cratchit. Right, not in you go, Cratchit. No, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. No. Yes, Bob, good luck. 62 or more will win tonight's gamble. That's 12. 20. And Trevor. Yeah! Well done, well done Patrick. That's marvellous. £2,082 for your research into meningitis. That's marvellous. You've done absolutely marvellously there. You children down in Portsmouth, those presents will be, will be on their way at the end of the programme. This is Jim Bowen, ladies and gentlemen, saying thanks very much for watching our Christmas edition of Bullseye and a special thank you to our superb teams of stars tonight. What about it for Paul Shane and Leighton Reese? <laughs> Bob Anderson and Bobby Devereaux. <laughs> Bell Emberg and Eric Bussell. Our special guest stars, Tony Green and Bobby Bragg. Thank you very much indeed. We're delighted to have seen you. We hope you have a marvellous Christmas. I tell you, it's super smashing. It's great. And God, God bless, bless us, us everyone. everyone. We shall be taking to the Oki next Sunday afternoon at the later time of five past five.